the power that we give away, it proves our enslavement. It proves it. We don't produce our own socks, underwear, clothes, cleaning, clean uh, 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 soaps to clean ourselves. We don't produce it. We make it from the the leftovers or the um, industrial resources of the Chinese and the Europeans. We produce nothing as a people, but we have all these opinions about our own people, but we give up our sovereignty by not producing anything for ourselves, nor being able to govern ourselves. We can listen to many, many, many leaders, action leaders, even someone that professed to be a leader as myself. We listen to us and and we realize, okay, uh, we know who's doing the evil. We know what's bad. But what are you doing to push us forward into being a sovereign entity upon this earth plane many people give up their their their, their connection to 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 nature for spirituality but nobody combines the two i believe this clearly clearly is a combination of the two the mental and the body the emotions and the ment and the and the and the logical mind, the critical thinker. You must meld the two together. One feels anger as fire within. It's fire. You can feel it. Fear is fire. It's like a it's like a hot, tense thing. If you sit back and observe it. We lack the ability to even assess our own emotions, our own logic, our own thought process. But we can critique other people's thought process. We can critique others' thought process based off of our education that we have have obtained from European Eurocentric ideas. Patriarchy, matriarchy are both important. Men must be men around men. Women must be women around women. And both show respect unto each other. It's not that one is above the other. No, no, no. We are one. Symbiotic. Symbiotic. Move is one. But we give up our sovereignty, our free thought, our idea of thought by assuming other people's train of thought. Because as a collective, we have no sovereignty. What is the Europeans idea of success in life? Do you know? Is it the American dream that you profess I want a great job and go to college. I want a great job and want kids and a husband that has a great job. And then we go into heaven and praise God for the rest of our lives. Is that the Europeans' idea of success and what life is? So if it's not, or if it is, why is yours like that? And you are pointing at him or them as the source of your pain. So what is your idea? What is the African or the Moorish or the Israelite idea of life? And why haven't why don't we have it flourishing underneath our feet?
we lack sovereignty. The say-so of what we are doing. We argue about trivial things. Matriarchy and patriarchy. There has to be two separate orders. There's two different men. There's men and there's women. Two different energies. Two different frequencies. Yes, they come together and make a nice, uh, a nice frequency. But in their separate entities, they are different. We lack sovereignty. The idea of sovereignty, the idea of what sovereignty is, the idea of how it works. So, we can continue to trivialize these conversations and pretend that sluts and thugs represent us, but they don't. And I will never, I will never uh, pretend that I would side with these two uh, characteristics that belittle my people. Easy. So with that, I'm Furious Black. Peace. Look for the truth and the middle line of everything.